more work on the Cessna. I'm gonna film both the intro right now and the outro in a second on how to put on these Cessna flaps. It's gonna be a really short video, a lot of editing, bunch of time cut out, but I got two Cessna 172 flaps on the aircraft. Let me show you how I did it. Okay, so I have a brand new uh, McFarland flat attach hardware kit. I've got two of them built up for this roller here. You can see the uh, Cessna tool meat on her bot, which is really nice. But what he didn't know is I made one a long time ago out of an old, old door hinge, but it'll be nice to have two. It'll certainly help because I'm not here by myself. But I'll go ahead and get this pulled, put on there and show you what it looks like. Okay, there it is. It's hung. It's not on all the way. I still have these up here in the, in the top roller, but I got the bottom rollers all assembled. Zoom in, focus on that. There we go. I got those all assembled in, in place. Make sure if you do this, you tape your fuselage because the flap will sit on it. Fortunately, there's no windows in it, so I didn't have to worry about scratching up the windows, but there you go. Almost done. All right, there you go. It's all assembled. I got the rollers up in place. Everything's all put back on. I just got to put the nuts on these in here, which I'm probably going to do tomorrow because I got to get my air ratchet. But I always put one of these little sheet metal clamps on there. So that way the roller can't come back out off the flap track once I shove it in between there. And then you just sort of push up and down on the trailing edge of the flap until it lines up. Grab a pair of hemostats like that to get a hold of the bolt, shove it in there. All right, that's gonna do it all for the flap install videos. Uh, pretty easy. They're in place. Catch you on the next one.